Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Manson. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And now we see them. And today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Clippers and the Lakers game yesterday. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Today I'm going to just give these haters this work all throughout today. That's all we're talking about today. Clippers versus Lakers, because I'm sick of a lot of these guys um, uh, with them not keeping the same energy. So today I want to talk a little bit of, uh, more about it. Now, as y'all know, some of the biggest haters of the Clippers in the media are Nick Wright, but more importantly, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp is a huge Kawhi Leonard hater. Y'all always sitting up here talking about, oh, they're hating on Braun, they're hating on Braun. What about your man always hating on Kawhi Leonard? Let me give you guys a quick history lesson of what's been happening with Shannon Sharp and Kawhi Leonard. Essentially, three years ago when Kawhi was making his run with the Toronto Raptors, Shannon Sharp was on Undisputed calling Kawhi Leonard virtuosos. Oh, the, this one and that one. Skip, did you see him at the virtuosos and blah, 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 blah. That was Shannon Sharp. Why was he doing that? He was doing that because he thought, well, this guy's about to be a free agent. And at the end of the season, he's going to join LeBron James and Anthony Davis and make a super team. And he's going to help LeBron win a title. And then they're going to act like, oh, it was just LeBron that won that title. That's what he was hoping. But at the end of that, Kawhi Leonard was like, nah, I'm good. I'm not joining your man. I'm going to go do my own thing. Let me go with the team that actually never won anything, and let me go try to help that team win a championship. From the moment Kawhi Leonard did that, he became public enemy number one with Shannon Sharp. Whenever Kawhi Leonard has faltered, Shannon Sharp has been by far the biggest hater, by far, in sports media Kawhi Leonard. But y'all be the same ones crying about, oh, look what Skip is doing to LeBron. Meanwhile, your dude is doing this, and he also was doing it to Russell Westbrook. He just started chilling out because I'm sure some people are like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Why are you joining Skip to be looking up, to be doing this, this type, these type of things on television? This is ridiculous now. You criticize him for no reason. He's no longer on your team. Why are you still talking about him? Why do you still have an opinion about the guy every single time? Why is that? So yesterday... Before that Clippers game, they touched on it on Undisputed. And they were there talking about what they felt was going to happen between the Clippers and the Lakers. But before we get into those comments, this video is brought to you by sponsor Aura, who's also the official sponsor of the T-Wolf. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who is the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened in addition Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at Aura.com slash Dreamers Pro and when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below. Also know that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. Now, what we want to do is we want to play exactly what Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless had to say about uh, Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers going into that game yesterday, and then we'll come back and react to it. Take a listen to that. <clears throat> There's a lot on the line for both teams. Both teams are well, uh, uh, um, the, excuse me, the Clippers are well rested. But I think kind of like Philly, Bro, we tired of beating. I mean, Philly said, you know, we tired of Boston. Y'all beating us this year. We about to get a game. You got that. Hopefully, the Lakers can summon it up. Yeah. But I don't skip. I mean, for LeBron to play the kind of minutes that he played, AD played North, something just tells me one or both of these guys are not going to play tonight. I could. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. Because I want to see them in the start. I want to see them play. Yeah. I want to. I want to see. Some, I want some get back. But uh, I don't know. This is a very important game. We need. We really need that six. We need that six spot. We need that tonight. Which brings me to the centerpiece of the game tonight, which is a national game on ESPN. 
It's, believe it or not, Russell Westbrook. I am still shell-shocked that that somehow Rob Palinka got out from under Russell Westbrook. That, that's the move of the year to me. That's, that's your magic move, <laughs> that he got Utah to take Russ off your hands for the first of those two draft picks. Right. The one, I think it's protected. It's pre- yeah. uh, top five protected, yeah. I think. Okay, top five protected. And Utah says, okay, we'll do it. Not for the two picks. You right. can keep the last right. one, the 27 one. Mm-hmm. But we're going to buy out Russ, which they did, and we're going to just let him hit the market. Mm-hmm. And in, in the next shock to me, the Clippers jump all over it because yeah. they hate the Lakers. They want to show the Lakers, we can do something that you failed to do. Clearly, LeBron wanted Russ, and I still, of all the things LeBron has ever done, highest IQ in basketball, I still don't get it. AD was right there with him. They were campaigning for Russell Westbrook. Why the awe over Russ? I never was a fan of Russ when he played with Kevin Durant in Oklahoma City. Help me out. Is it because he averaged a triple-double four out of five years? That's That's off the charts. I never thought I'd see one year since Oscar Robertson, obviously. But he did it four out of five, and it got him weird. How did it impact the scoreboard, the one-loss record? It just doesn't. In fact, I think it impacts it negatively because he's a solo act of a stat machine, and he's going to get his, but you're going to get yours right between the eyes because you're going to (laughs) lose. So what's their record with Russ so far? It's 8 and 10. Right. Well, that's not great. No. Right? No. Eight and ten, but tonight. So this notion, Skip, yeah. that they oh they found a way to get so much out of more out of Russ than what the Lakers could. How? I thought the objective was to win. So what? I mean, if you want to say statistically he's playing better, but at the end of the day, he is. Yeah, but it's he's eight and ten. Eight and ten. That's all you need to know. Isn't that all that really matters? I, I, I was thinking, but you know, if you want a narrative to say Russ is not washed up. No, I didn't. Nobody said Russ is washed up. They said Russ is not the same player that he once was. He had that great game because no Kawhi, no Paul George. Now you allow him to go back and play like he played in OKC. You allow him to play like he played in Washington when Bradley Beal gets out. So now he's going to have the ball and okay. he's going to. I get to take as many shots as I want and I can do what I do. Yep. Oh, he can do that. But are you going to win a championship like that? Mm. So you heard what they had to say. I got a few things I want to say. The fact of the matter is this. Didn't the Lakers have like the easiest schedule to close out the season? Help me understand something. Didn't the Lakers have like the easiest schedule to close out the season? I think they did. If you listen carefully in that audio, he said people say, oh, but how can it work with Russell Westbrook? Westbrook, Look at the win-loss column. Have you seen the teams the Clippers were playing? In the uh, uh, towards the end of the season, let me give you guys like fifteen or twenty of the opponents the Clippers were playing. The Clippers, let me tell you the opponents, the uh, people they played: the Lakers, the Pelicans, the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies, the Bulls, the Pelicans, the Thunder, the Thunder. Those are all playoff teams. Then they played the Trailblazers, the Magic, the Warriors, the Knicks, playoff teams, the Raptors. I believe. Uh, let me look at the Eastern Conference right here. Uh, the Raptors are in the playoffs. Let me keep going. Then they played, who else? The Kings. Uh, no, then they played the Memphis Grizzlies, the Kings, the Warriors, the Wolves, the Nuggets, the Kings, the Suns, the Warriors, the Bucks, the Mavericks, and then the Nets, and then the Knicks, and then the Bucks. These are the teams that Kawhi Leonard and Russell Westbrook were playing throughout that stretch. Who were you playing? Who were you playing? Have you watched any of those games? Russell Westbrook has been a much better fit with the Clippers, and it's not even a ju- it's not even a question. And it has been working. It has been working. It has been working. Y'all lost yesterday. You had AD. You had LeBron. Russell Westbrook was in there. Why'd you lose? Why'd you lose? I thought you said Russell Westbrook was trash. Skip Bayless was the one that said Patrick Beverly is better than Russell Westbrook. So what happened? What happened? Why haven't we been hearing all of this criticism around Russell Westbrook's name? What happened to it? What happened to it? And then at the end of the, uh, after last night's game, you're going to talk about, today on Undisputed, talk about you saw what the GOAT was doing at the end of the game. What did he do? 
They lost. He was flexing. Down like 15. Who does that? Who does this? Y'all st- y'all just don't want to give it up to him. Y'all just don't want to give it up to this dude. You just don't want to. And I'm, and I'm going to keep giving y'all this smoke until you stop. Until you stop. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let me catch you guys on the next one.